Hi, it's Teresa from Dodge Nature Center and time for another Nature to Go. Now on winter days when we're having great weather like we are right now, you might not want to go outside to explore, but you can still experience nature by feeding birds. Bring the birds to you. And it's really interesting to watch the interactions that they have and you get to know some individual birds as well. And that's what we're going to talk about this week on Nature to Go. How do you know what the birds are? There's a small group of birds that we'll see fairly commonly around during the winter time. And I'm going to introduce you to those birds. A lot of the time, the birds that you see around you just look like little brown birds. And that's kind of a joke that birders have. their LBBs, little brown birds. But some of those little brown birds are actually house sparrows. House sparrows definitely are brown. They're also tannish. And here you can see pictures of the males and females. They're slightly different from each other. If you see a slightly stripier brown bird, like the one on the right, those are house finches. The male is on the left. He's very bright red, kind of a raspberry color. Look for their wide beak. They use these to crack seeds. Another kind of brownish bird, much bigger. This one tends to come in groups and it's a morning dove. Some people see lots of these in their yards or at their feeders. Other people don't see as many. They sort of like the more open style feeder like you see here. If you have tube feeders, they're probably not as likely to come. Next up are the black and white birds. And the first one are chickadee. These are black capped chickadees. So that's how you can recognize them is they've got a black head. Now you might think, yeah, but there's another bird that has a black head too. And that's the white breasted nuthatch. Notice its body is a little more streamlined than a chickadee's. Nuthatches are known for their long, thin beak and for going down trees head first. This next bird is truly the bird of winter. These are juncos. Juncos are dark on top, white underneath. And they arrive in the fall and stay with us all winter long before they migrate back to the uh, north where it's much colder but that's where they spend their summers breeding. These birds tend to come in flocks, and if you notice, they have a pink bill. Some sources say juncos are a ground feeding bird, but I found that they come to feeders as well as feed on the ground. Here, you can see a bird that's very black and white, but kind of speckly. This is a woodpecker, and in particular, this is a downy woodpecker. It can get a little confusing because when you are looking at these two pictures, they might look identical, but the two birds are actually two different species. The one on the left is the downy. The one on the right is a hairy woodpecker. They have very much the same coloration, but a hairy is a little bit bigger and its bill is also longer. That's one way you can tell them apart. Another way to distinguish these woodpeckers is male or female. Male downies and male harries have a red spot on the back of their head. So as you're watching this downy feed, are you looking at a male or a female? This is a female. The last two birds we're going to talk about are the colorful ones that we see in wintertime. You might catch glimpses of them down on the ground in the trees. And what we're talking about are cardinals and blue jays. Here's the northern cardinal, really stands out against the snow, and this is the male. Females are not quite as brilliantly colored, but that's because they're blending in, especially during breeding season. Blue jays are this incredible blue color, and you really can't tell the males from the females because they both have that same coloration. Usually you know blue jays are around because they're noisy. They'll make a lot of sound when they're around. This is just a short list of potential birds you can see this winter. There's crows, there's goldfinches, there's red-breasted nuthatches. There's a lot more kinds of birds, but this is kind of the core group. And even if you don't know what all of the birds are, if you have trouble recognizing them, you can still watch them, enjoy them, keep track of what they're doing. Gradually, you'll start to learn what those species are and start building into new species as you see them stop by because you recognize they don't look like the ones you're used to seeing. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Nature to Go. Enjoy your bird watching, and we'll talk to you again next time.